Hey guys, I'm Rose and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X Remastered. Uh, where we last left off was that we brought down Sin two episodes ago, and yeah, we're in the Sea of Sorrow, which is literally leading up to Sin, or maybe we're inside of Sin at this point, and we're trying to make our way to the other end of the sea, because apparently it's really tough to go through here. And I mean, I showed you guys like me just upgrading all my spear grid, and we battled a few monsters in there. So yeah, we're gonna continue it right now. Um, but I did remember there was a little treasure. I thought there was a little treasure nearby here. Like, oh no, I'm gonna escape this. Screw this. Yeah, anytime I see these kind of monsters, I'd rather just leave because it's just annoying. I mean, they do offer a good amount of XP, but that's like if I want to really grind for it. There is a topic of RPG stuff that I do want to address here in my case because I've been playing. I have been starting to play on my own. Uh, I, I've been playing RPGs on my own a little bit. Oh, not you again! Can we? Can we not? What is the? I wonder what. I'm kind of curious if there's a way to tell everybody to be. Except for the fact that I have to leave one by one again and again. If I have to fight these things again. I mean, I, won't, I will take on any of the other enemies because they do take a little bit more effort to make, make out of it. Oh, there it is. I see it. Oh, shoot. Come on. No, no, no. Yeah, because you can't get to these treasure chests if you uh, walk off on the other side. Actually, do I have a... Oh, it's an other that we need, right? HP mana... I have to give it to Lulu a little bit. And I also need to give it to Lulu. I really need more ethers. I just... You, they, the stores don't sell ethers at all. That's the hard part of it. It's like, it, they don't sell ethers enough that I just... Sort... Auto... They don't sell ethers at all. It's just pissing me off every time. Key items, I don't think I need to worry about that. Equipment. I yeah, haven't really touched on the equipment in so long. Was the one no, Titus is not the ring. You know was the ring. Phantom ring. What the hell is an eater? I don't know what the eaters are. I'm guessing that's like absorb damage maybe? No. Yeah, I want to be careful for. Oh, I can attack these guys uh, preemptively. Uh, that's good. So that means we get to damage them first. All right, let's deal with one first. Yeah, these kind of enemies I will fight. Every other enemies I don't want to fight. Any uh, like any big singular enemies because they give me a lot of XP, but they take too much effort and resources just to kill them off quickly. And I get annoyed with that a lot. Is this again? Yeah, so there's a topic of RPGs. I've been playing an RPG lately on my own time because I don't want to bother recording it because of uh, how much work sometimes it could be to just record some of these RPGs. Because it's, it's hard for me to make myself or make a video of me grinding. I don't like grinding the levels, that is. Not grinding like physical grinding, I mean like grinding levels for level ups and stuff like that. Uh, because, I mean, I'm fine with grinding in levels for the, for the game that it, that it is, what it is. Like, I don't mind going off my own time and just like grinding off the levels. But at the same time, like, there are points in time where some of the point of the game requires me to actually be like, looking to level up my characters quickly to overcome certain challenges or overcome certain problems. Like, this game does that, and it's such a tough, like, thing to deal with because of how much work you have to put into it to kind of get the levels up to uh, a certain degree that you want to be happy about for, uh, Get Lulu is here. Where I could be happy about. Or not happy, like when I feel satisfied with like the abilities that they have to survive a fight, you know. Um, and it's really difficult for me in general. I do need spirit grid. Oh no, I, speed, I have speed grid. Okay. I thought, I thought I had no more speed tiers uh, because of what I was seeing. 
Uh, no, not yet. Let me see what this was. Slow. Yeah, if I can push Oron through here, not up to you nice part, but all the way up to where Titus learned how to use... No, not slow a guy. Uh, Hastika? Where, where... Yeah, if, if I can get Oron to go up to where Titus learned Hastika, I think that's where I will probably push Oron off into a different branch of the tree where he would be... Like, I'll, fin I'll make Oron learn everything that Titus has went through, and then I'll push Oron back to over here where Kamari is at, and then make him learn Kamari's stuff, or get Kamari's stats. But yeah, I'm, like, overall, it's, like, leaking all over the place. Like, all the, uh... All the particular stuff is being leaked all over the place. Where I'm just making characters, like, learn other things from other branches already. Other particular branches of the skill trees. Okay, let me go back up here. Yeah, it's hard to look at the... Look at the actual space here. And then looking at the corner map. I'm looking at the mini-map to rely on where I'm going here. Uh, if anything, I might leave with whatever the other... I think this one is fine, the turtle killing is fine, but the big one with the- I think the Muhammad or be Behemoth? I don't know what the name of it was called. Those Behemoth things were just annoying. Like, oh god, no, not ambushed by the spores! No! I hate this so much. This fight is annoying. It's not like bad, it's just annoying. That's all they are. Okay, it's not confused. Okay, cool. Yeah, just send the fire gun to me, please. Just send fire gun to me. I'll take the fire gun anyways. Give me all that. Give me all that haste gun. Okay, fire gun. Blow up. Blow. I think I can take on the eyeball on the own. I don't want to take on the mushrooms. The mushrooms are the only ones that I get annoyed by the most. Let me do double pass. Uh... Oh no, not, not Blizzard. Blizzard and then Blizzard again. I don't know, it might be a waste of mana here, but it does get a little bit more damage. A little bit more, like it's like a hundred more, I guess. Yeah. Like. Alright, cool. Nice. Jesus, that was annoying. Titus getting the level up. Nice, done. Yeah, everyone. No, Titus got the most damage out of that battle there. Move once. Yes. Use the speed spear. So Titus can probably get some heal or some evasion, higher evasion, so that's pretty good. Okay, I can cure gun Titus here because he's gonna be dead if he's not careful. I'm glad it's not like the other RPGs. So look the, the RPG that I've been playing recently was uh, Persona, Persona 3, to be more specific. Because I was wondering about like other JRPGs that I've been looking into. Um Will I actually play Persona 3 on the channel ever? I I would love to, but at the same time, I think it's a one-time thing for me, I feel like. The, the version I played was, uh, I emulated it through the PSP version, because that was easier for me to handle versus uh, the FES or the... Or my, my friend, my roommate, said that, recommended that I didn't do FES slash the PS2 version because you don't get direct controls on the characters, you have to rely on the AI to do it for you. <laughs> Which is hilarious, but it, like, I don't understand why it's a bad thing. Yes, I can do- I can throw a slow go. Oh, there are even Jake's great. Whatever. Yeah, let's take on the left side first. What a waste of time for me to- or waste mana- waste of mana just to- I wasted my mana just to slow them down when it, it, it was making them immune anyways. Um, let's yeah. But yeah, overall, <clears throat> I would probably wait and see if 
because I feel like playing Persona 3 again is how I feel like it. But I mean, I am. I, I did finish Persona 3 on the PSP first, and then I was like, yeah, this is great. This is a fun. This is a fun story, or not fun story. It's an interesting storyline of a game, uh, and I, I really appreciate Persona 3 as a story, um, and with all the interesting characters. Uh, as for right now, I'm going into Persona 4 Golden because the Steam version was available. And I bought it day one of when I heard it was being announced. And so because I was kind of curious about how the game played out exactly, because of the fact that, uh... I'm trying to waste the on that other enemy right there, because I think that would've... I should've sustained damage, or, like, start damaging the other one a little bit more. Because Titus could have damaged it just as much as the other one would. Um... No, not that I keep forgetting that was not it. But yeah, like, I am playing Persona 4 Golden on my own right now, so it's like... Judging from it, I think a lot of turn-based RPGs, JRPGs, are really slow for some reason. And it's really grinding when you play. And I've taken notice of it. I think some people in the comments or somewhere like, in time will probably be like, Ross, why didn't you, you didn't know that? It's like a typical thing in an RPG, JRPG, and I'm like... Yeah, I mean, we're not wrong, it's just, it's just too slow for me sometimes in this case. Like, it's not as slow as a visual novel, I feel like. It's just slow and typical standard form for me because of the fact that... Like, it's not requiring me to read more, it's just requiring me to, like, go through these animations. I mean, it's a lot of effort to make these animations that, uh... Okay, cool. Kuro, Kuro was enough for everybody, it seems like. Elixir, ooh! Wait, no, no, Elixir just heals MP and HP. What a waste! What a waste. Oh, not these guys again. I'm trying to think if I should just escape or just continue battling and getting some EXP again. But it's more resources being wasted onto the enemies because I don't have a lot of MPs left. And there's gonna be a time where I'm gonna be really running out of like MPs and I just have Lulu just doing attack for me, which is not ideal at all. <laughs> yeah, you know what? No, I'm gonna escape. It seems like everybody could escape in time. I'm glad it's an instant escape because recently, I, since starting uh, my playthrough with Persona 4 Golden, the escape was ridiculously slow, so it made it much more slower in combat for turn base. But yeah, in general, I just I just think turn base RPGs are just super slow. Like I just wish it wasn't that slow. If it wasn't that slow, I would have been fine with what it got to the point of. I guess I'd say. Wait, what? Oh, that's a first. That is a first. Why are you guys not running? I don't get it. <laughs> there we go. What the fudge? That's so stupid. You don't just... Nobody just double takes their escape. Nobody ever does. That's like... Absolute freaking ridiculousness right there. Right, let me... I, I see the exit finally. For once. Jesus. See the exit already. It's not far from here, which is nice. Uh, I know there's a chest in the back over here, I believe. I'm risking it, I think. Yeah, I'm risking it. I can't. I don't have a way to instantly kill the mushrooms. I don't think so. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Yeah, because Titus can't instantly kill the mushrooms. Only Oron can and Lulu can. And I'd rather just get rid of the mushrooms first and foremost before anything else. The eyeball laser, if it's just one, it's fine. Like, the worst it can do is just the laser attacks, uh, which makes. Uh, which just basically just makes people believe, which is like the only thing I see that is a problem. <laughs> it's going higher. <laughs> I love how it's like, oh, dodge one. Dodge two! It's all the way off the screen. Nobody gonna see you anymore. <laughs> oh, come on. Seriously? 
I mean, it's not really that bad, I think. Okay, well, at least Lulu can hit it for a little bit. Just... Yeah. There we go. Damn it. <sighs> Took this long to just literally kill it. An average of like two two attacks, two simple attacks onto it, before I can actually see myself being able to kill it. Actually, oh, that would be good. I'm thinking about it, and it would be nice if I put a uh, unit or separate the cure stuff away from just having Yuna do the thing, and then like okay, so we're MP increase, which is nice. So yeah, this is the turning point where I'm gonna make Lulu go all the way back to here, and then or go back to here, and then start building back towards uh, what Yuna went through, so she can, so that Lulu can like get all the mana and all the magic ability stuff that Yuna has. Okay, so let's go this way. Yes, the power sphere, so I can get whatever orange strength it was. And move E forward here. And use the power sphere for Titus' strength thing over there. Strange how I unlocked this, but I didn't go this way for Titus at all. <laughs> I thought I would have done that, but I guess not. Oh, and this would give me more magic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that could have been easy if I just broke that up and then kind of create a pathway, a short pathway out. Creating short, short pathways for some other characters would be nice, but I just didn't do it in the end because I didn't have this stuff earlier on, I believe. Um, there's the chest that I was talking about right there. I think there was like two chests near each other or something. Oh, level 3 sphere here. How much was that actually? How many did it give me? Just one? Just one. Damn it. <laughs> I'm a little greedy, but I mean like, I just want more because of the fact that uh... Okay, I'm not gonna go for the other chest yet. I'm gonna go into the safe room before we continue on. Like... <sighs> Damn it! Yeah, let me do double cast, screw it. Uh, Blizzard got two times. But yeah, overall, I think that JRP's, J reviews are super slow to me. Like, I, I never thought about it because I've never... I don't play enough JRPGs in my mind to kind of get a hold of... Like, specifically turn-based RPGs, I feel like, are really slow. And I never thought about it because I've never gotten to the chance of... No! You mother truckers! <laughs> you knew you were gonna kill- Oh my god, I hate this game so much, really. It's- it's probably death for me. No, I'm not gonna- Yeah, because it's insta-kill for me and Lulu if we're not careful for me. Because if- Whenever Auron is, like, stupidly dumb like that, I just- I hate myself a lot. Um, no, no, I don't, we don't have petrification. We just have only remedy can only confuse, reduce the confusion out of him. Don't you dare. Not again. Not again. No. This is so stupid. This game. Why? Why are you guys so dumb? Oh, thank God you can. Oh my God, I hate that so freaking much. Oh my goodness. Ah, this is such a stupid move that nobody needs to have. Actually, how far... How, I don't have scan, I forgot about that. Scan only works on Titus, I totally forgot about that. Well, I'll just do the one damage for the one eyeball first. So that's one eyeball less to deal with. Stop! 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 Can you not? No, we're dead. We lost. I'm giving up because this is so stupid. No, Ty. No, Aura. No, no. I wasted all my time. Oh my god. Can you recover? Please. Please let me recover. I hate you, game.
I wasted all my time just to get this guy out of this. Oh my god. Ah, uh, this... I'm, I, I'm sorry. I spent so much time trying to get them across the field and they, they die on me. I should have not risked that. I shouldn't have risked getting through that. Okay, well... It's 20 minutes in, so... I'll give myself halfway point, and then I'll get the other halfway point after the fact. Um, and I spent so much time training them as well. Like, I gave them a chance to train. And, and I think this is why the JRBG's turn-based stuff has gotten such a, a slow pace for me. Because not only am I supposedly trying to grind these characters to a great level, like... Like, not only that I have to grind for the levels, I have to, like, make myself deal with this absolute garbage. <sighs> Where it's like, you don't put good save points in places that make sense. It's like giving you a... It, it, it's like putting trip mines all over your game that you don't really want to deal with, and yet you have to deal with it because the game told you so. And I'm like, this is stupid. It's like absolute garbage that they have to do that in that sense where they force you into a part of when they promise you to like get you there and you just screw it up. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. Okay, let me do in let's let's do battle this one. Because I need to at least battle some certain enemies first. So it can give me buffer space to Escape. I feel like there's a hidden value behind every battle you do, so if you end up battling the uh, enemies the way that... Like, if you keep battling enemies, they give you a higher percentage of letting, letting you escape. Um, and I think that's what it is that that always seems to happen to me, or that makes me think that's, that's what's happening over here. Um, and I really think that it's better if I just keep battling in certain and like I should do battle, escape, battle, escape. Like do a balance between the two, so I don't force myself to use all the resources in one go. Um, because that's probably what it is that I'm very like, problematically going through, or that's what I'm thinking that I'm going through, which is a problem for me. That. I need to do level casting because this is annoying. How am I old, old, like able to? There's no way in hell am I gonna be able to get out of this battle quickly enough. Unless I don't be like unless I do double cast, it would be better off that way. Okay. That's pretty man. Stupid son of a gun. Um, no, I need to do another double cast. Water gun, I guess? I don't do water gun enough, really. Anything. Even though it doesn't really matter what kind of element hits it, it's still not gonna do more damage than it normally does for the other attacks, I guess. Actually, this water gun seems to deal more damage than the other one so far, it seems like. It sucks that we don't have critical hits in here, so we're not gonna do that. We're almost done, we're almost done, guys. We're almost there. So we need to do more. Oh no, not water. Water gun. Excuse me. Yeah, it seems like it's dealing the 3,000 I needed. So hopefully it goes dead. Dead? Thank god, finally. Alright. I guess the tougher the enemies are, the easily, like, more easily what they give us, like, a leeway to leave earlier. Or leave without having to pretend like you're tripping in the wire, which there is no wire there at all to be made. Um, Titus. Seems like he was close to leveling up anyways. Yes, use, sphere, voila, cool. Yes, let's move it. Move our asses here. Move our arses. Oh, this thing. I need to leave. I need to back out immediately. What is this thing called? Yeah, Behemoth. That's what it's called. It's the king of the Behemoth. Behemoth King. No, uh, I'm not gonna let you guys fight this guy. Screw them all. 
Because he threw a meteor at the end. He literally killed him. I don't care if Erlang's dead. Like, honestly, I don't think he would die, but... Yeah, I don't care if he died from the heave, because he's not gonna suffer that hard of a hit. Uh, from that. The reason why I can't fight that thing is because it doesn't have... It doesn't seem like it is able to... Give me a, a victory that makes sense. It just makes me seem like there's a victory, but there isn't a victory at all. Okay, so I can battle these guys here. Double cast. Is it Lizaga? No, Dunaga. And then Dunaga again for this one again. But yeah, it's like it's very slow because animations has happened, and then not only animations but like uh, I guess telling me certain things about what the enemy is going through to just give me a sense of what's going on with the battle is another issue I have to deal with sometimes. Swing! Cool. Okay, this one stone. And I still have to do. Is a fire go for this one? Okay. I still have to do like a lot of damage to just get these guys out of the way. I really wish I could. That the. That I can do enough damage where I don't have to like think about it the next run for the fights. But it's not as simple as it would be, I guess. One. Alright. That's fine. It wasn't doing that much damage anyways, it seems like. Double cast again. Uh, no, that's gonna make it easy. No, water gun. Seems like water gun is doing pretty well, I would say. So I'm just looking at the time to back here. So I, can, so I can gauge how much more I can do. I'm gonna, like, I'm, I'm booking it. I'm not gonna look for the treasure chest because I know where they are, but I just don't want to deal with it right now. <clears throat> Is it like a deeper stuff? Okay. Um... Yeah, one more water flow should be good. Cool. Alright. That gets them out of the way. But yeah, like, I want to just book it for the save point. I saw the save point from afar. I was just stupid just, uh, like, earlier on in the episode, I just sort of just ignored it because I think that it was okay for me to just risk taking the turns to get the chest, but... Lo and behold, that was a bad idea. Ugh. Fucking annoying. Like, I wasted all my time, like, healing and... Or, no, killing, actually, more so than healing. Yeah, because I, I was spending so much time on killing that I didn't think twice to allow myself to like get through the fights here as quickly as possible. I'm escaping. I'm gonna run it because I don't want to deal with it. At least it gives... yes, like at least the strategy of fighting and then running and then fighting and then running is better ultimately for me right now. Then it can also come. Okay, this is. As long as it's not an ambush, it's totally fine for me. Good. Screw that guy. Fucking screw that fucking eyeball bull crap. Screw me over, like, just because I wasted my time going through that one space. Enough. Good enough. That's a fast battle for sure. Alright, that's a level up for Titus. That was good. That was a good one because it gives you a lot of sphere grids that you need. Mm. Yes. Yeah, that gave me a lot of sphere grids which I needed, so that was good. Yes. Okay. Let's move it. Move our ass. Where the hell? Oh god, this way is the way, really. Oh, I wasted my, my movement on that. Ambush! Oh no. Alright, booking. Oh, come on! Okay, well, at least Titus is more convincing. Titus seemed more convincing with running and tripping rather than the other two. The other two weren't even, like... They don't look like they wanted to escape. Look, at see, it's like, I don't want to escape. I just want to fight. It's kind of like that stupidity of that look, I guess. There we go, now it's moving. 
Alright, bye, Lulu. Nope, Lulu's not dead. Okay. Well. I had a feeling that it was gonna be that. Okay, well, at least you learned the Daredevil that we missed out on earlier on. Right. Next fight will be a guarantee. If it's a Behemoth King, then I won't. I won't fight it, but if it's anything beyond the Behemoth... Anything beyond that Behemoth fight, I'm totally down to fighting it, but like for now I just messed up and I want to just move forward here and get to the save point before I move into this one. Yeah, this one's fine. I'll take this one. Um, what magic? Let's do haste to go so we can get ourselves extra extra moves ahead of the fight. So. Special double cast. Water go, I guess. If I remember, Water go was the one that had more damage than the other magic. Yeah, three thousand. The other ones only did like two thousand five hundred. So I mean, it's better than whatever it is, I guess. Double cast on the Water go. I'm glad that I'm using the, the double casting again because I forget about it in the last last two episodes, I guess. Or the last episode. So at least I'm doing that now. Uh, status is turned still. Water go again. Yeah, it seems like it's gonna take a lot of time just to kill this thing. So it's so stupid that it takes this long to just kill this thing. Like. And this is the point of me talking about, like, the, the grind, is like... It takes... It, it's like a bullet sponge of, like... Or not bullet sponge, it's a damage sponge. It's just... I don't see the point of me fighting this thing the way it is. It's just constantly making me do the same thing over and over again. And it doesn't quicken the battle as much. And I really wish it did. I really, really wish it did quicken my battles a little bit. But... It's not allowing me to do it, so... It's the best I can do for now. As long as it minimizes damage. Like, I don't have to do too much damage to deal with it. One more hit. Um, why is R not doing really for me to hit with the guy? Oh, I don't need to do that much. Okay, uh, water roll. I just need to put a little bit of damage into it. Alright, cool. I'll take that kill, I guess. Might as well just take the hit and just kill that thing so I can like literally get a free pass almost for the next one. Like I do think there is a hidden value that I'm not seeing that tells me that hey, you know, if you do if you do end up killing this thing, you can escape the next battle or something like that. And we got the delay attack we did from the last one. You know, let's give a cura for everybody. This way. Alright, no detouring to get some chests. Not yet. I'll probably get the chest off my own time, maybe, since you know you guys saw me just gonna do skip the chest earlier. So, so, so. I'll probably pick them up on my own. I'll probably start grinding for levels again in the next episode, or in between the next episode and this episode, because I do need to give myself some room to. Uh, be prepared for the, the fight against Sin if we are ending up to fight. Like, if we end up fighting Sin, I'm gonna prepare for that fight, right? Like, right after the episode here. I need to heal. Or on. Actually, I can just use items. I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes I don't really think about it. Because of the fact that I forget that I do have items and I bought them for that purpose of healing them without having to use them all the time. But I get used to using Yuna a lot because in other typical RPGs I would just do it. Oh, I gotta leave. Goodbye. Leave me alone. Damn it. You don't need to be here, Behemoth King. You you don't you don't even need to exist in this game because you don't have a good. Oh no, I'm gonna die here with Aura. Oh, Eve again. It's fine as long as it's Auron, I'm fine with that because he doesn't die instantly. But if he does die instantly, it doesn't really hurt me too much because we're able to, we, we have two people who really left. 
the area there. There we go. That's good enough. Right around here. Through here. I get it. I think you can escape. Well, actually, don't we have don't we have an ability skill? No. Special. Flee. Yes. Yes! I forgot about the flea. I was like, I remember we had an ability that let us all escape at the same time. I just don't remember where it was. It was on the titles that's like under his special. Okay, this is a, I can handle this. As long as it's not an ambush, I can handle this. I will, I will always take the first one onto the eyeball with titles for sure. There we go. It's overkill. I should probably use Fire next time with that. No pollen, please. Um, focus, I guess? I forget what focus does. Though. Um, so we should be closing in on this, I think. I'm sorry I'm not speaking. I'm usually trying to think about what I need to do here. Almost focus. Raises party magic and defense. Oh. You know what? Let's, in let's increase the evasion this thing. At least it doesn't take mana damage. It just takes an extra spare turn, pretty much. Point. Is a miss. I mean, there is a certain point to how much evasion is going to Just die! Ah! God dang, the stupid thing! It's like, I cannot attack it. It doesn't want to let me attack it. Gosh dang it. It's an average of three, I feel like. Three hits, three attempts of hits to kill that stupid monster. Oh man, I, I don't know who designed the system behind that enemy. I need to use the powers here. Whoever designed the, the, that monster particularly and making it so high up in evasion is not even a challenge, it's just literally luck. And I hate that a lot. It's like the chances of hit is the luck based system. No one in their right mind would enjoy fighting that ever. If it was a fair like battle, I wouldn't be relying so heavily on the fact that. Ugh. Special. Three. Let's go. Get out of here. Book it right off the bat. Okay, I don't know. I just saw something fly up. Fly up out of nowhere. I'm gonna have to say no for now. Please. That won't go so easy on you next time. Of course, that's true. I have to flee anyways, because I want to get to the sphere grid. Thank god, finally. I can end the episode now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode of Nobody Minds, and hope you guys have a great amazing day. We can or whatever watching this. Um, I'm probably not going to touch that. I'm going to touch this save uh, here. Yes. Boom. Alright, cool. So, in the next episode, we will go ahead and uh, continue up those stairs, but... In the meantime, before this episode, or after this episode, uh, hitting into the next episode, I will go ahead and grind and pick up all the chest stuff. Um, I'll talk about what stuff I got from the chest maybe in the next episode, hopefully. Um, is this the official return for Final Fantasy X? Yes. I'm going to try my best to continue this game, and uh, I'm going to try my best to continue my other PS3 compartment, uh, the other PS3 game I have on my, <laughs> on my list of needing to play and trying to finish before something happens with it, which is literally the remaster. Um, but I'll talk about it when that series gets to its return. But for now, it's this one, and I really do want to try to finish Final Fantasy X, because I know this has been on my list of games to play and finish for some quite some time now. It's been about, I think like five years now since I last played, when I first played the first episode of this. And it's really bad that I haven't continued it afterwards beyond that, but I really do need to finish Final Fantasy X 
and move on with my day to the next Final Fantasy if I end up playing another Final Fantasy, if I end up playing another Final Fantasy after this one. But otherwise, um, yeah, I really do want to finish this game once and for all and uh, know what happens to the end of the story because I haven't really played from start to finish Final Fantasy X. This is still kind of like my, plain, my blind playthrough of this game because I have zero clue who the final final boss is because every time I fought another boss I thought that was the final boss like Seymour was the final boss I thought and then he wasn't and then I fought the lady with the, the fate and I thought she was the final boss but she wasn't so it, it's kind of interesting bouncing back and forth to see like different bosses being like really strong but they weren't the final boss so I'm just curious how bad the, the actual final boss is going to be because I feel like I'm probably not prepared for that fight and I feel like I'm not trained well enough to fight that uh, enemy that well because of how the party is so far. But yeah, in the next episode, we'll come back, we'll climb the stairs, uh, we'll talk about what treasures stuff I got out of the stuff and I'll probably grind and get more sphere grid stuff, sphere levels up for every character or maybe mostly primarily the three that I'm controlling on. And then we'll we'll just kind of take it into account for them because I just need to grind. I need to just power them up completely and then just run with whatever I got so far, so that I can get really uh, good with whatever fight or get fights out of the way quickly um, as much as possible as I can. So other than that, that's it for me in this episode. Uh, and yeah, the grinding is boring, so I didn't want to put in the, in the episode forms because I know people don't want to see that. People want to see me progress and continue, and that's what I want to do. So that's the best I can try to do. But otherwise, I got what I got. So other than that, that's it for me in this episode. So, Roz. Yeah.